For the past two weeks, you have been hearing from all the people running for East Baton Rouge Parish Mayor President. Today, WFB political correspondent Liam Combs has his final profile and introduces us to independent candidate Ryan Carter. In the final Baton Rouge mayoral candidate profile, I met up with Ryan Carter, better known as Bad Business. Carter's path to the highest seat in local politics has been a little different than the rest. He struggled with homelessness for quite some time. And now that he's back on his feet, we followed him on his way to work this morning on a city bus, a centerpiece in his campaign. I've worked in IT for the last, I'd say, 14 years. Okay. And uh, in 2020, COVID happens. So I lose a lot of those contracts only because I can't afford the, the general liability insurance to go into these places. Carter got his new IT job just three months ago. He says being homeless humbled him. And I've met some really wonderful people that'll destroy a lot of uh, maybe uh, negative connotations and stereotypes and whatnot from all walks of life and from every background that you can imagine. A main priority of his campaign is reshaping the employee BR program. You know, you just hand me a pamphlet when I walk in if and say, go apply here. But I mean, if there's no actual screening process of, hey, Mr. Carter, let, let me see what I can do. This is who's hiring. Let me see if I can get someone on the phone. I can have you an interview by the end of the week. If there's none of that and you can't do that for me, Southern University graduate, pretty impressive uh, IT resume, no. No felonies, you know. Then the bus arrived. Good morning. We paid our fare and found a seat. Yeah, this is this is my everyday. I am of the everyday people. I'm with the everyday people. And continued our conversation. If you're not being a cis like that, then you're, you're going to just have a a round table, a turntable of people coming in and out. He says employee BR needs to be quicker and more streamlined. This could be two months or so before I find any type of employment. I'm hungry today, you know, <laughs> so, so I want to get out of this situation today, you know. Carter wants to make the CATS bus service 24 hours and use resources for ride sharing. Hey, look, I don't want to catch the, the city bus. I just want to get somewhere and I can't afford an Uber because when I Uber or Lyft from where I'm at, it's 30 bucks. He says that crime comes when there is a lack of opportunity. It's because when I look at this crime, I'm seeing it's a lot of young men, young men. We have so much, for lack of a better term, teenage wasteland where Kids are finishing high school or, or, or of the age of young adulthood where they have absolutely nothing going on. He also wants to start a Christian rap radio station. We need to get back to having the message where we are trying to help. It's sad that if I can't, I have two, two daughters that are, you know, teenage preteen. If I can't listen to the radio, you know, because it's too vulgar, that's a, that's a problem. Yes. Before we could finish our conversation, the bus pulled up to Carter's stop for work. He thanked the driver and we went our separate ways. Carter is hoping his everyman message will connect with voters just 11 days from the election. In Baton Rouge, Liam Combs, WAFB 9 News. Liam, thank you. If you'd like to see the previous profiles of the other East Baton Rouge mayoral candidates, you can find all of them on WAFB.com under the Elections tab.